this is my iPhone XX Max. And when I click on battery, when I click on battery, it takes me to battery health and charging. And unfortunately, the battery health shows unknown part. And when I click on it, it doesn't show me the percentage. I wish it would show me the percentage of what the battery health is, but I guess it can't calculate the values. Something's wrong with the maybe the hardware that sends over the battery information. So instead, I use coconut battery over here on my computer. Hooked it up to my Macintosh over here, MacBook. And here is the battery. I was able to use coconut battery to find out what the what the battery health was, which it's at 100% right now, as well as the number of charge cycles. Now you can also check this through uh, analytics in settings. So I, again, even though this is an aftermarket battery, I wish it would try to calculate the battery health. Coconut battery is able to. Uh, if you go into settings, right below battery is privacy and security in settings. You go there, scroll to the bottom where it says analytics and improvements you click on there make sure share iphone analytics is on and then you go into analytics data and so then you're looking for something that says analytics the day uh, the date and time or whatever and then ips.california and if you click on that i'm going to click on the second one well the file is huge you can email it to yourself and do a control f email it through this button over here but I'm scrolling to the very bottom where it has the battery information so at the very bottom I'm looking for something that says about the battery it doesn't say anything right now that's why you want to download it to your computer so you can do a control F or something but over here in this section if you can find it it talks about Apple Max raw capacity, which is 3,476. So that's pretty good for an Apple iPhone XX, XS Max because in theory it should only be around 3,100 something, but it's showing 3,476. Apple raw max capacity 3,476. It also should say the count over here. It says count and that's how many times it's charged. Again, today is the 6th, but yesterday it charged three times. There's also a nominal value for the battery. I, or actually, you can see cycle count 4. Um, I don't see that somewhere. All I see is Apple raw max capacity, but there's a nominal something. And that tells you, similar to what the battery, what it would use for calculating the battery health, but I, I can't find it on here. So anyways, that's you can try to find it through this. It's a little more complicated. They have shortcuts. They have Apple shortcuts to calculate this for you, which would be easier. But anyways, um, that's the unfortunate thing that if you have an aftermarket battery and it's not able to read the battery health, you'll have to find it yourself. You can calculate, you can calculate yourself using the Apple analytics, or you can use something like coconut battery that does an estimate, which is pretty good, I think. And that's it. That was my experience buying a used iPhone and hoping that the battery health would be pretty decent. And so far it is. Just had to find the battery health myself, even though the guy sent me a picture of this information.